What's up everybody? This is Mommy Wata and I'm back everyone. I just wanna first say thank you so much for all of the love and support that you are showing me in my channel for all the emails of encouragement, everything that y'all do to let me know that what I'm doing is appreciated and what God is doing through me is appreciated. That's most important, okay? Cause I do feel like the Holy Spirit is working through me to reach my collective and beyond. So I'm very grateful for all of the encouragement and the feedback that lets me know that I am being effective, okay? That I am doing God's work, that I am getting people to a point of healing and to a point where they want to explore their spirituality and their walk with God even further, okay? That's my mission. So I do appreciate all of the support, okay? I got a particular download that I would like to do a reading on. I picked up on an energy who is drawing you to them because you have already cut this person off. You really have been trying to move on with your life, move forward, accept things as they are and move forward. Okay. But this person is trying to get you to pay attention to them. They're calling you in. They're drawing you to them with some form of incantation. Because if you pay attention to this person and when you pay attention to this person, they are able to use that attention, that energy to benefit themselves. When you don't pay attention to them, they can't do nothing with that. Okay, so they've been trying to call you in. I mean, it's getting to the point where God is saying, focus on yourself because people are running out of options. They are no longer able to do the things that they were doing because they don't have your energy to pull off of. So stop paying attention to them. Don't check up on them to see what they got going on. None of that. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so the Holy Spirit is saying that it's time to pull back your energy even more because they are using your energy to help improve their own. So what would you like for us to know about this Holy Spirit? What is the further message, guidance, or insight that you have for us here? What is the message? We have the lovers, okay? This is someone, like I said, that you have ended things with. You moved on. You have been trying to move on. I keep hearing something about moving on. You have truly been trying to move on from this person, but it's like they keep, you keep like recollecting moments between y'all. They pop up randomly. Okay. With this two of pentacles, you definitely been trying to balance your life from this love situation. Okay. But they keep calling you in. But the Holy Spirit is saying it's time to fully release that and put a guard up to any of that energy. That is how you're going to fully balance yourself here. It's almost giving forget that they exist. That's the type of, of boundary you need to have up. That you almost forget that this love choice exists. Because this person did receive... This person did... Refuse your love when you were offering it to them, okay? They were able to keep you going, keep you thinking that they possibly would choose you back, but they never did. And you realize that, and that's why you release this. But you have to block any of that spiritual tie energy that's left between y'all because this person look we got a five of cups they in regret okay things have not turned out the way that they thought they thought they could keep you going keep you hanging on a string and they're not able to do that and that stream that river back there is drying up child that's what i'm picking up off this card that, that water ain't flowing like it used to. That energy source, okay? We have balance in reverse. He's definitely out of whack because you're not there for him to feed off of. 
We have the Three of Swords, the Magician, and the Six of Wands. He's in the Three of Swords right now, but it's not for the reasons that you think. He's in the Three of Swords because he cannot harvest anything from you anymore. Not like he was, okay, with this Magician card here. He can't take that ongoing action to pull from you. You're no longer his primary source. So he's trying to triumph over you. This is what the Six of Wands is giving me. He's got to have a he's got to get a victory in another way. He can't go directly to the source. So he's pulling in you in, pulling energy from you in another way. No, you may not pick up the phone and call this man. No, you may not agree to see him or be intimate with him. He knows you way past that point, okay? He, but he also knows that he can have a victory if he gets you to think about him. If he gets you to ask anyone to see what he got going on. If you try to check up on him in any way, that's you giving him attention and in turn energy, okay? And this is how he, he's keeping you pulled in. With this magician, three hearts, magician, and six of wands, and then we got the five of wands. Definitely making you feel conflicted. There he go, you swinging his little wand around, possibly doing some mirror magic here, okay? Trying to make you com feel conflicted about your decision to release this connection, okay? Trying to make you feel confused because you like, why am I thinking about this man? I don't want this man. He, he trying to make you feel out of whack you know, out of balance because he's out of balance. He's in the five of cups. Definitely some mirroring en energy going on here between the two of y'all. This man is in the nine of cups in reverse. And it's all because you put your foot down. You asserted yourself with this queen of swords energy. You realize that this man was not going to ever fully accept your love offer. Okay. And you made a decision. You made a judgment call. You moved on. What else, Holy Spirit? What happened between we have the Four of Swords and we have the Two of Swords, okay? You made a decision. You may have been unable to make a decision for quite some time because if this man has been energy harvesting from you, you probably did feel like you were confused on the fence, not sure how to balance your life, okay? But you put it to rest, honey. And you have since recovered from the physical connection. This is a spiritual connection that I'm talking about now. This man has definitely been planning carefully on how to take action to steal energy from you. That's what the Knight of Pentacles talks about. Gathering evidence, figuring out how to make something work, paying attention to someone, what they're doing, all of the details, okay? This is what he's been doing. He's definitely been watching you. Continue to remain abundant, okay? To continue to thrive without being in his company. And he's missing that because he is not thriving. I promise you, this man is not sitting where you sitting at in life, okay? I'm definitely getting that you are on the top of the wheel and his ass is on the bottom. And he want to be on the top of the wheel again. I'm, I almost can guarantee that when this man was doing good in life, you was doing bad, okay? And that's where he that's where he wanted to be again. He wants your ass sitting somewhere in this King of Wands energy, fighting the world like it's this me against the world energy. That's what I'm getting. This is where he at right now. He is in the King of Wands. It is him against the world. This man is having to face all kind of stuff right now, but he is very motivated to continue to come at you with this bold and erratic Knight of Wands behavior to steal your energy. He sees you as an opponent with this King of Swords and this High Priestess card. This man definitely is doing some spell work, okay? He's definitely burning a candle or two then wrote some shit down and burned it, probably. He doing something now, I'm telling you. To get you to think about him, to get you to 
wonder what he got going on, what he doing and who he doing with it, and the mere fact that you're thinking about him, the mere fact that you're even wondering what he got going on and even asking about him, that is giving, look what came out, the Six of Pentacles. This is giving him energy to continue to build his own abundance. It's definitely some giving and to and receiving from energy here with the Six of Pentacles. This is what he's doing. So you're going to have to definitely do some type of blockage. The Seven of Wands came out for a reason. You have released this connection, okay, collective? You have released this connection, but there is still something that you need to block out. Maybe you need to do some cord cutting techniques. I've been picking up on cord cutting today as well because this man is definitely taking from you to continue his Ten of Pentacles to ensure his Ten of Cups, okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else that you want us to know here? I don't think it matters why you release this person. He definitely was throwing your life out of whack and you wanted to get in balance. So he had to go with this eight of cups here. Okay. But it's like, he don't care if you go. He just want to make sure that he got what he need regardless. Okay. He wants to remain in this King of Pentacles energy. Like I said, right now he in the King of Wands. But he is, he is carefully and meticulously planning, pursuing your energy, planning a way to get your energy, and he's been pursuing that, and it's been working. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you've looked this man up on social media. You may have even inquired about him. You have thought about him, and, but God is wanting you to stop doing that. Because all of these forms of communication, okay, we got the Eight of Wands and the Page of Wands. All of these forms of communication are, are being transmuted into energy that is causing him to get a leg up in life again. All right? I'm telling you now. It's allowing his ass to soar again. Mm. What's going to be the outcome of this, Holy Spirit? Outcome of this situation, Holy Spirit? What's going to be the outcome here? We have the Five of Swords. This man trying to win at all costs, child. But there's a better way to handle this situation. He's just not, he not willing to use his own know-how because he ain't got none. Look, he ain't willing to transform. This man ain't willing to transform. He, he want to win at all costs. And, but instead of him making a significant change in his life and releasing old belief systems that he has to harvest your energy to be abundant, to come up, he won't and, and just do it for himself. He won't let that go. He won't transform. That's what the Holy Spirit is urging him to do, though. Because the way he's going right now, I don't feel like it's going to be a good outcome for him. We have the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Ace of Wands, okay? See, this is you right here. And the reason why he's able to even pull from you collective is because you and this man do have some type of soul connection, some type of past life soul tie, okay? But I feel like this man has betrayed you before. But this time, if he keep it up, he gonna betray himself. I'm getting that. He's continued, He's betrayed you before in this way. That's why he kept you going up here with this four of cups. He kept you, he kept you around, but he never fully accepted you or your love offers. This is how he continued to betray you. And that was because he didn't need your love. He just needed your energy. But I feel like this time around, you are coming out as this Queen of Wands energy because you are not playing no games. You are about to do what you need to do to continue to block this man from connecting to you in any way. So anything that he's sending towards you, I feel like it's going to backfire on him. And you will continue to move on to calmer waters. I don't see you trying to reconnect with this man. He wants you to. But his, his little magic ain't strong enough for that. The most he can do and get out of you is 
a few inquiries and a couple of Facebook and Instagram searches. But honey, you are definitely going to continue to move forward in life and have the life that God desires for you to have with this Ace of Wands here. You're not going to allow this man to betray you again. And the way that you're going to cut, do it is you're going to cut the course energetically because you're aware now of what this, what's been happening. Why are you even still thinking about him? You understand what you need to do, and that is retract your energy with this four of pentacles, okay? And I'm going to drop the mic here. You know what to do. Because I'm telling you, you have not been thinking about this man like that. You have not even been romantically desiring this man. But for some reason, he keep popping up in your head. You keep randomly thinking about him, and this is why. He wants you to think about him. He wants you to reach out to him. He wants you to be calling his name out in the universe by calling somebody or texting somebody and asking about him. Okay, that's that's sending him energy, honey. So just know that, 1616 on the phone. So I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it provides you with the insight and guidance that you're looking for. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.